The state had seven falls in September and forced it to close. Yeah, six months later, work is still being done, and people want to know when they can go back to the falls. Cardio News Channel 13's Carl Winder is getting you answers. September. That's when the last ticket was sold at Seven Falls. Floodwaters consumed a park, forcing it to shut down to the public. It's like must thing to do. Natasha Schnapper says when the falls closed, it took away something her family enjoyed. It's a huge piece. It's a huge piece, I think, of uh, people's life. And it's so gorgeous. It's so beautiful. It's, it's the place to go. It also affected her coffee shop. Really rely not just on the neighbors, they were helping tremendously, but the tourists, the people stopped coming. And uh, for the business, it was really, really bad. Right now, Seven Falls is continuing to rebuild. Ryan Cole works for the Pikes Peak Country Attraction Association. He says it's going to take more time before the park can open again. They had uh, the road wash away, the parking lots, uh, the very popular uh, lighting that uh, actually lights the, the falls at night, total loss. Cole says it's better to do the construction right rather than quick. When they do reopen, it's A, of course, safe, but B, people can really come and have a great time there and make sure that they, they, they are accustomed to the, the fun that most people have at Seven Falls year after year. Cole says he hopes the park can open by midsummer, a date Schnapper can't wait for. In Colorado Springs, Carl Winder, KRDO News Channel 13. Thank you, Carl. And Clark says there was not any damage to the falls themselves, the gift shop, or the staircases. Well, parents want to know.